We are the Roberts, your missionaries to Chiapas, Mexico. We've been ministering there for the past eight years. Although Chiapas is a beautiful place with a lot of natural beauty, it's a land of spiritual darkness. Most of the people are descendants of the ancient Mayans, so witchcraft is predominant. In one of the Assemblies of God churches in the mountains, a deacon asked the witch doctor to heal his son when he didn't see results from the prayers of the church. As one pastor told us, we had never seen anyone healed by God. We knew the power of the witch doctors, of the enemy, but had never seen the power of God. There are over a million people in the three main language groups of Chiapas. Most of them do not speak Spanish, much less read it. Although they do have the Bible written in their languages, it, is, it has so many translation errors that they can only read about half of it. Other than that, there are no other Christian resources written in their language. No study books, Sunday school curriculum, or commentaries. In July 2009, we were in the indigenous village of Benito Juarez, Tumbala, Chiapas, where they mainly speak Chol, a dialect of ancient Mayan. After preaching on the baptism of the Holy Spirit during a youth retreat, we had the privilege of praying with eight people who received the baptism for the first time, one of whom was the pastor, Gregorio. After talking with him, we realized that he was the first person ever to receive the baptism of the Holy Spirit in his village. The Assemblies of God Church has been there for 35 years. Since then, at least 10 members of the church have received the baptism, and it is changing their lives, church, and community. They have seen people healed and delivered. We were able to bring light into that village through teaching on the baptism of the Holy Spirit, but there are hundreds of similar villages throughout the mountains. Through all of this, God has placed it in our heart to start a translation project in order to provide a much-needed tool to the indigenous pastors, a Pentecostal Bible commentary. This will be a condensed commentary comprised of the introductions to all of the books of the Bible, articles dealing with relevant theological principles, with charts and maps to help them better understand the Bible written in their own language. They will be able to use this to deepen their knowledge of God's Word so that they can properly teach in their churches. Here is Pastor Gregorio. The churches have a great need in the area of materials to be able to teach Sunday school. This may be why they have stopped because of the resources. The lay pastors don't know much Spanish. They may buy materials, but they don't understand all of it. Since the majority of the people above 40 don't speak Spanish, it's a big problem because they may understand you if you speak to them in Spanish, but they can't reply or speak in Spanish. It's a very small percentage. It's one of the biggest needs in the state of Chiapas. Because maybe the gospel began to expand and reach the lives of the people quickly, but in their way of teaching and studying, they are more accustomed to do it in their own language because they never had the opportunity to go to school so they could learn how to study and speak Spanish. This is one of the challenges that we face as we continue sharing the gospel and making resources available to them. Will you help us take the light into the spiritually dark places in Chiapas? First, will you partner with us in praying? Pray that God will protect and give guidance to the translators and to us. Secondly, would you partner with us by buying a book? With God's help, we should be able to translate, publish, and print this roughly 400-page commentary within a year for all three languages when we have the needed funds. Thank you for helping us bring the light to the dark.